Hello and welcome to Soft Expert. Today in this video I am going to show you how to create a static carousel or a slider using free elementor. And basically I already have a video about this topic in which we created this slider. But there were some questions about this video so I will try to answer those questions and will try to explain in more detail that how you can create this slider and at the end of the video I will also show you how you can get this slider for free using one click. So let's see how we can do this and let me show you a quick demo of the slider that we will be creating in this video. So this is the first demo as you can see we have an image then a subtitle and a title then a description with the read more. And this is a slider as you can see here. And this is fully customizable you can just change the image, the title and subtitle and description. You can control the amount of the text here, the amount of the text and the title. You can also change the background color, you can also change the arrow colors and so on. And this is another demo as you can see we have these type of images with these type of rounded boxes. Again with the title description and a read more and this here these arrows and also these dots. So you can again customize the dots and the arrows based on your needs and this is completely customizable. The only difference between this and a first slider is this is a static slider so you can edit this right in the elementary. You can change the images, you can change the text and you can save your changes. Now let's see how we can get this plugin and how we can set this up. So to get the plugin you can just go to the link in the description which is this one and then click on download free you don't have to purchase this you can download this for free and this will download the plugin now we just need to upload this to our wordfish so again you can just go to our wordfish dashboard and by the way this is the website that we will be using in this video this is an e-commerce website so let's go to its dashboard and the first thing you will need is Elementor obviously if you want to have Elementor 4 this link will be in the description also but you will need only the free version of Elementor for this video and then you can go to plugins click on add new we will click upload plugin and here we will upload our file that we just downloaded so I will just drag this and then we will click install now and then we will activate the plugin and once you activate the plugin this will take you to its dashboard where you can see all widgets, core widgets, third party widgets and so on. Now you can go to core widgets and here you can enable and disable the widgets that you need. So you can also filter by free and pro and here you can search for carousel and you will see number of carousel like brand carousel, carousel, custom carousel and so on. The one that we need is static carousel. So make sure you enable this and then save settings and that's it now we can use this in our elementor builder and then you can go to third party widgets and here you can see number of widgets are available that you can install with one click and here you can also enable and disable these like you can have woocommerce products woocommerce head to cart and so on and it also have some extensions like these so you can enable and disable these like animated gradient background, background expand and so on. And under API settings, you can put your recapture keys, your Twitter access, sample context form and so on. Then we have other settings. So here you can enable and disable these options. And you also get a mega menu with this plugin. So let's see how we can create a static slider. So for that we can add a new page or we can edit any of our existing pages. And let's just visit this website. And let's say I want to put a slider here. So I'll enter this page with Elementor. And I can display my slider anywhere I want. Let's scroll down all the way to the bottom. And let's add a slider here. So let's search for carousel. And you will see this static carousel. I'll just drag this over here. And you can see we got a ready-made slider with the placeholder images, subtitle, title and description in a read more. And now we can customize this the way we want. Like we can upload our own images, we can change the subtitle, the title and the text. So first of all we have items like this is the title. So basically this is item 1, item 2 and item 3. So to customize any of these you can open any of these. And the first thing is you can change the image. So click on this. And let's use any of these images like this one and we'll select and here we can change the title and subtitle so we'll write something like this 
and for the subtitle I'll write and here we can change the text and then we can change the link which is this read more so let me just link this to my website or you can link this to any of your existing page and the same way you can customize all of these so let's delete all of these and to make things quick you can close this and you can duplicate these like this now you can see we got all those images you can just change the images and this is just to show you some difference in these items we can keep the title and subtitle the same and then you can go to additional settings and here you can change the number of columns here you can see we have three columns and if you want you can increase and decrease these let's keep four now we have four columns let's go back to three and this is the item gap which is this spacing between these items you can also increase and decrease this now you can see more spacing here let's go back to 20 and item match height so if you enable this this will keep the image and the text ratio the same throughout the slider and show name so basically this is the name and you can change the HTML tag for this and here you can enable or disable the subtitle which is this this is show text which is this text you can also enable and disable this and if you do need read more you can disable this now we don't have a read more button but let's bring that back and if you don't need the image you can also hide this and here you can change the image size so let's keep this large now we have large images you can also give this some mask so if you click this you can give this this shape or any of these shapes this is completely dependent on you that how you want to display these and this is the image position so center is fine the image size is content and no repeat and this is the alignment so you can align this to center or right or left you can see the alignment of the text here let's align this to center then read more so here you can change the text for the read more like you can change this to learn more like this and you can also display an icon here so for that you can click on this and here you can put any icon let's search for arrow and let's display this one and now you can see an arrow and then you can change the icon position to the left or right and you can also change the icon spacing which is this spacing between the learn more and the icon you can go to navigation and here you can customize these arrows like you can choose arrows and dots arrows and friction arrows only dots only progress only and so on let me show you quickly if I choose arrows and dots you can see we also have arrows and dots also if you want you can enable dynamic bullets which will display the amount of bullets based on the number of items here and here you can see we have four so we are displaying four dots and if you want you can also display scroll bar like this and let's disable this and here you can change the position of the dots arrow icons so here you can change the arrows shape let's choose style one and this is how it will look you can just try all of these and you can keep the look that you need and here you can hide arrows for mobile devices then you can go to carousel settings and here you can do settings for the carousel like the layout is carousel if you want you can change this to overflow and this is how it will look like a book cover but let's keep this as carousel and this is autoplay which you can see here in the right side and here you can change the autoplay speed fast and hour and item to scroll so you can scroll one item at a time you can scroll two items or three items and so on this is center slide this will just centralize this slider and this is grab cursor so if i enable this you will notice this hand icon here and you can also enable drag free mode and this is the loop so if you enable auto flip or this slider this will keep scrolling until the user is on this page and this is observer so this is an important option if you want to 
Keep the slider hidden under a tape or accordion, you can enable this option. And this is a refer link, so this is another cool feature from this plugin. And basically here you can link a section, a column or anything to a page or to an external link. So this was some code setting for this slider where you can change the number of columns, the content and so on. Now if you want to make changes to a style, you can go to style tab and here you can do the style settings. You can see for the item fading, you can give this some spacing like if I change this to 55 or something, here you can notice the spacing. And if I change this to 10, you will see less spacing. And here you can give this some background color. And before that, let's change the background color of this section. I'll choose any of these color like this one. And now you can see the slider item background is white. Let's edit this and we can change the background here. So, so you can see the background changes. You can also increase and decrease the opacity. And then you can scroll down and you can also change the hover color. So for that let's choose favor white. Now you can notice the change on hover. You can even display an image on hover. So you can click on this, you can display an image. This is the box shadow. So you can give this box some shadow. Let's choose any of these colors. You will notice some shadow here, but we have a dark background. And then you can go to image. And here you can change the style of the image. Like you can give this some border, some border radius, padding, and spacing, which is this spacing around. But we have enable masks, so let's leave this for now. You can also give this some CSS filter. Let's go to title. And here you can make changes to the style of this title. Like you can change the title color, the title spacing, the typography and so on. Let's leave this as it is. You can go to subtitle. You can change the typography and color of this. And under text, you can change the style of the text. And read more, you can style the read more button. Let's give this some background like this. Then we will give this some padding. Sorry, this was the border radius, but here we can give this some padding like this, and you can also change the text color. So, here you can customize the button, and then you can also change the typography like the font family and so on. This is the navigation, so here you can style arrows and dots. Let's change its color to white. And we can also give this some background like uh, this. And then you can give this some padding like this. And you can give this some border radius to make it rounded. You can notice the changes here. And you can change the size, let's choose 15 to make it small. And this is the spacing, so you can change this spacing. And here you can change the style of these dots. So for normal, we will choose another color like uh, this. And you can also notice the active color has been changed. And this is the space between these dots, the size of the dots and so on. And you can also enable advanced size. And here you can change the width and height and so on. Let's disable this for now as our dots are already looking good. You can also give this some box shadow. And this is the offset so here you can change the position of these like this. So here you can notice the arrows. This is for the arrows. And this is for the dots. If I Increase and decrease this, you can see the changes here. But let's leave this for now. And that's it. Let's give this section some padding. And uh, let's also give this some rounded corners. So for that, we will edit this. And for the item, we will give this some border radius up to 20 or 10 and that's it this is our slider now let's update this or uh, let me just close this to show you 
So this is our slider now. We have those arrows. Our own images, title and description and learn more. And we also have those dots. So this is how you can create a static carousel. Now the one I showed you in the start of this video that you see over here. You can also copy these with one click. And before that you will need to enable live copy paste. So let's go to our WordPress dashboard. And under other settings you can see live copy paste. So just enable this. Then go to Elementor. And let's refresh this. And let's go to that link again. And let's say I want to use this one. So I can just copy this. And copy it. Let's go back to Elementor. And let's scroll down. And this is our slider. And now if I right click here. We see this option live copy live paste. So we already have copied that. So let's live paste. And now we will get that slider over here. So this was the title like static slider demo. And this is our slider. Which is working fine. Now you can just customize this. Like you can change the image. You can change the title description and read more. So this was how you can get a slider from this page. So you can copy this one, this one, or this one. And then you can paste it in your page. So this was how you can create a static carousel using Elementor. And you can customize this based on your need. Again the plugin link is in the description. So just click on that. And if you want to learn more about WordPress and Elementor. You can visit my channel. I have lots of videos about WordPress, Elementor and WooCommerce. Still if you have any questions you can ask in the comment section. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next.